Okay, joining us today is the head women's basketball coach, Michelle Bento Jackson. Coach, we are days away from the season opening up. 23 24 campaign will kick off in um, Idaho against Northwest Nazarene. What are your thoughts? How, how's the team looking, and are you ready for to go to take on Northwest Nazarene? Well, we're certainly excited, that's for sure. Um, and I feel like we've had a really productive last week of practices. So are we ready? I don't know if you ever really know if you're fully ready, um, but the, the girls have been really focused. Like I said, we've had a great week of practice and we still got a few more practices under our belt before we hit the road and just really anxious and excited to start the regular season. You talked about previously when we've talked to you, just, you know, it's a new team, it's a young team and you're looking for leaders. So have you in practice kind of been finding those leaders and seeing them kind of shine through? Yeah, not necessarily any one or two folks individually. I mean, right now it's a, it's a little bit collectively. And, you know, some of the new players, it just takes time to really get acclimated to what my expectations are, what our expectations are. So every week I feel like it's been a learning moment for different reasons, and that's, that's good. Um, and that's completely okay and to be expected at this time of year. And just I assume you learn a lot about yourselves in the first couple games of the season. What are some things that you are expecting to learn about yourself in these two games next week? You know, so much. I mean, first of all, just, you know, outside factors such as travel, um, learning how to play on the road, learning how to be in a hotel and how to prep for a game when we're on the road. So, so many things that a lot of players on our team just don't know because they haven't been in that situation before. So those are things that I always look for, you know, who, who prepares themselves, who's really focused, who's treating this as a business trip, not just a fun road trip. Um, so those are all outside factors that, that I certainly look for. And then obviously, how to, you know, it's tough to win on the road, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're on the other team's court and officiating and everything else. So just Kind of from my perspective, just really trying to prep the team as much as I possibly can with having an understanding of all these outside components. And then obviously once we get on the floor, just to play. Um, and to play just like we do every day in practice as far as not so much, especially this time of year, not so much focused on our opponent, but really focused on our execution both offensively and defensively. And when you mention those outside factors, how do you kind of teach that to your team who maybe they're younger? players coming from a or high school trips where they aren't at the same level of seriousness well and even junior college players I mean even though junior college players you know they do some traveling it's it's not this extensive it's not getting on a plane it's not overnight so um, how do I do that I just I educate them um, I educate them and, and try to give them as many heads up so to speak on what the, what to expect number one and then also what our expectations are to put ourselves in the best position to try to have success Coach, that three-point club is kind of taking off. I've, I looked at some numbers the other day. Um, upfront donations were over $1,000, and um, you got a few people, I believe, to become members of that three-point club as well, um, with, I believe, up to $800 committed per three-pointer this year. So that's, that's great for the team and just the community and that club for an inaugural club, the first time doing it. That's, it really took off. What are your thoughts, or would you like to thank any of – anyone in the community specifically? Yeah, just, just to make everybody aware that, you know, uh, our women's basketball program is doing a fundraiser, fundraiser this year with the Three Point Club and trying to get as many pledges as we possibly can. And uh, a fan or a supporter can pledge a, a dollar amount or do a one-time donation. And it is based on the number of three-pointers that we make per the season. So the amount owed for a pledge obviously would not be determined until the end of the season. Um, but we're taking, you know, we're, we're taking this and the girls have been doing a great job just in trying to get the word out. Obviously, this is to benefit the players when, it, when it's all said and done. For our home games, we're going to be throwing balls out into the fans, every three-pointer that is made. Um, so hopefully trying to have it more of an interactive fundraiser. And lastly, just those that have already uh, pledged or supported us and those in the future. We just thank everybody for all of your support uh, for our women's basketball program. And uh, we just think we're very grateful and we thank you very much. Cool. I got one last question. Outside of like wins and losses and where you finish in the standings, what are some goals that you have for this team? Growth. Uh, growth, not just as basketball players, but you know, any coach will tell you that there's so many life lessons that are learned in our sports, whether it be basketball, soccer, whatever the sport may be. And I tell the girls all the time, yes, I'm your basketball coach. I've got to teach you how to put the ball in the basket. And I love championships more than anybody. But when it's, when it's all said and done, 
how have they developed as a young woman? Are they a better student? Are they a better young woman? Are they handling adversity better? Um, so all of those things, really, when it's said and done, even all my former players, those are the type of things that I look at. And to me, that's our job as coaches and our duty to, to help them and groom them so they can be more successful. Good luck this week. All right, and I look thank forward you. to talking to you next week. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck.